Okay. Yeah, I, I want to cook today, uh-huh. man. Well, what what we put in the pot? Man, what we going to put in the pot? Uh, this gentleman had the audacity to call me a coon. And so I was like, I want to understand what a coon is. And then I want to oh, dive even wow. deeper into understand black male hate. Black male hate. Well, yeah, I want to understand it. it. So what's a coon? The greatest American alive. From what I've been told, a coon was uh, like a, a black person that, that shuck and jive for the white man. Shucking and jiving for the white man. So if I put it in context, I'll run the clip. But I said from my life experience, I've been to the military. I've been around the world. I've been to prison. I've been to every institution that you can be as a man in America. I have. I've participated in so many different workplaces. I have not felt this overt racism that they talk about. This scary ass white boogeyman that's going to jump on my ass if I say or do the wrong thing. Haven't experienced it. And if any white man ever tried to play that role in my life, he got put in check real quick and didn't want to fight back because he knew I'd be on his ass like stank on shit. Right. And so when I have this life experience for someone else to tell me that they have a different life experience, I'm listening. But because I don't agree, it don't mean I'm a coon. It means maybe I'll squabble more harder than you. Maybe my belief system is more better than yours. Maybe I don't think that everything is racism. Maybe if you walk into a room and you think that people don't like you because you're black. Hell, man, your breath might stink. Your hair might not be combed. <laughs> your, your clothes might be wrinkled. Right. There could be a number of different reasons why a person don't like you before you get to the place of, man, it's because of the color of my skin. I, I can say this. There are coons out here. And, and, it, and, and honestly, it don't have to be just black people that be cooning. You can have coonish ways because there is a thing of sucking up too much. You're talking, you know about, brown, you're talking about brown nosing. Like, 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 like kissing Power's booty. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, boss, and, and, I love you, boss. You're the best boss in the whole world. And just for a, p- a position or a few more ducats. We don't have no worker solidarity. We don't have no class solidarity. We don't have no man solidarity. Men, American men are not working together. And I think that's one of the biggest problems that we have right now. We just refuse to work together, man. We need to start working together. I mean, because that's the only way this dream is going to work, which is not a dream. Let, let, let's be real, man. It's, it's a fucking nightmare. Man, man, I don't even see it that way. <laughs> like, like, it is. Like, right now, I think this is magic. I think right now, you and I are making a miracle. Of course. Because of course. we're actually coming together to work together to have conversations on how we can improve the quality of life for all folks. Yeah, but it's just, it's, it's a small number of us. And you know the majority rules. Uh, of course, on this journey and path, whoever get reached, get reached. There's a lot of work to go into it. Man, it's a lot of work, but I, I want to do the work. You know, most of the time, if you see me in my shows, I have on my overalls right. because the work work needs to be done. We need some workers out here. We need strong men who are determined to do the work. That's what that means. I, I, I'm like, is he just lounging? No, man. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to the fields. I feel you. There, there are crops to be picked out here. I'm a cotton picking mother, mother. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to go really hard, but I want to be family friendly today because I want to have a good conversation. I want to understand why there is so much black hate in America. You know me. I, I like to go biblical about stuff. You know what I mean? And that is one of our, let's say, curses. Because first of all, we are those people. And, and if you read it, these other nations, they're not going through what we're going through. At least over here. For a person who's not religious, how do we break it down to them? Because I try, if you try to give them biblical context, they don't understand. They, so really, you're not really talking to them. Because you'll be talking all day to try to convince somebody that's not going to. What are you talking for? Really, to, to convince someone? No, it's not to, It's not even convincing. Like, if we're going to have class solidarity, if you're going to have race solidarity, if you're going to have any type of, of unity in America, you have to have a conversation. A good percentage of black people are atheists or agnostic. They're not practicing any type of religion. No, they're, they're not. not. They're, not pra- they're not practicing no type of religion. None of their behavior is supported by any type of spiritual text. Which generation? Because you've got this new generation, I believe so. I mean, I go back all the way to the generation before me. Like, these people aren't practicing no type of, of, of religious or spiritual well-being. This is all some narcissistic stuff, man. I agree. If you see if you see any person who's 35 or better and has no children, no family, no spouse, they're not practicing no type of spirituality. They're just getting themselves together. Right? Man, they ain't even getting themselves <laughs> together. They're just out here thinking they don't want to do the work to have a relationship. And so if, if, we're, if we don't even want to have intimate relationships in our life how in the world can i have a brotherly love relationship how is that possible when i'm not even willing to do the work to have a healthy and whole life you're not a healthy and whole person if you can't sustain a relationship i'm sorry so you feel like is is it getting better or is it getting worse well with technology we're becoming more isolated 
Right, so it's getting worse. Honestly, right now, there's a bunch of lonely people out here who are spewing nonsense from loneliness. And loneliness is a disease. Just like I was smoking this cigar, boy, loneliness is a disease. Loneliness will give you cancer. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're lonely. I mean, I think everybody needs somebody. You know what I mean? We wasn't put on this earth to um, be lonely. Men and there's women. Get you one. We've had a drastic economic shift in America. The workplace used to be majority men. Now women have come in and got their equal share of the workforce. They wanted some working. They wanted economic autonomy. Now they have it, but they don't want to do their 50% civic responsibility. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't want to do the hard jobs, the shitty jobs when you got to go out there and get dirty and do really hard work. They don't want to uh, be the breadwinner for a family. They don't want to go to work every day and come home to have a husband who had the food ready and the children ready. They don't want to take on the social responsibility of being a breadwinner in America. And then they want to look at me in and say, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. You asked for equality. Now you have equality. And you don't want to do your, your fair share of the labor. My thing is, who is allowing this shit to go on? OK, you can go with your ideas and ideology. No one is messing up the, the community or society. Why implement certain stuff? If you know, is me personally, it's, it's not morally right. For Someone has to enforce their ideology. Someone has to have enough charisma, enough influence to be able to have a better conversation. We have to tell a better story. And black men ain't telling good stories. We're telling stories of oppression. We're telling stories that I can't be a full man because another man is stopping me from being a full man. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Say, since I live in America, I don't have any power. My geographic location determines who I am as a person. You put me on any continent on God's green earth, and I'm finna fight for what I believe in. Mm -hmm. True story. Been there. Done that. And there's a lot of people who are articulating positions they never had to fight for. They've had zero resistance in their life whatsoever. Black people don't know what they believe in. Man, elaborate on that. You would think all nations of people would believe in what they believe in. You got us believing in this, that, this, and that. We believe in the capitalist ideology, my brother. We believe in materialism. As a whole? Yes. Our, grand, our grandparents believed in Lincoln and Ford. <laughs> yeah, true. You want to show up to church? Thank you to uh, uh, black entrepreneurs, Mr. Jay-Z. Thank you to black entrepreneurs, Mr. Addressed in Stone, Troy's in the building. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Appreciate if, it. If we don't have black entrepreneurs, if we don't have entrepreneurs in America, we can't sustain this system. Right. Someone has to generate the capital to make this whole thing go. We won't have a conversation about using talent to uh, to achieve economic goals. We won't have that conversation. Someone stopping me. No one's stopping you. Somebody stopping me. That white man won't let me. He won't let me. <laughs> I believe you just have to have the means, the means and, and the equipment around you. I always say a man is, is only good as his tools. OK, this is my first tool right here. How do I use this tool? How do I use my mental capacity? <laughs> Like, I'm supposed to use this to leverage every opportunity that I need. I'm supposed to go get it. I'm supposed to figure out how to go get it. So what's stopping you from figuring out? Man, shit, nothing. I'm going to go get it. Right, right. <laughs> and, 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 and I believe a lot, of, a lot of our brothers don't have that type of mentality. Oh, that's a mentality. That's a thought process. Get some better ideas, my brother, and I guarantee your life will get more better. I already said it like everybody got some dusty old tools around. Compile that stuff up and you be like, OK, what can you do? You can do that. Well, here. Here you go. Go around the neighborhood and, and whatever, whatever. Same with the next person. Uh, a nice looking outcome, if you ask me. Everybody got some old dusty ass hands in the community too, man. Bring them dusty ass hands over there. To work. Bring me them old, old, old raggedy ass feet, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get busy. To make our community look nice at least. <laughs> hey, community sounds great. I want to have an economic power system, man. Hey. I want I want you to have your business. I want to have a bakery. You know what I'm saying? Patty, pa patty cake, patty cake baker's man, right, bro. Right, right. I want to be able to feed and sustain an entire, uh, an entire people. Right and when you start doing this, you get economics. Now you got economics. Now you can, now you got politics. Mm. It seems like some 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 nice rallies need to be going on right now. They need to they need to tap in, tune in, and subscribe to the Greatest American Live. Subscribe to the Greatest American Live. <laughs> Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Y'all want over there and play? Y'all want to call a brother a coon and everything? Nigga, I fight more harder than you ever fought in your entire life, bro. Look inside your heart. Most people who have something bad to say, they never done nothing. Mm. Cause if you've done something, you know how hard it is to do something. Right, right. That hey, makes sense. When you in boot camp, you ain't talking shit to the next man. Well, I know what he's in here for. <laughs> the same thing I'm in here for. He's going through the shit with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got to do the push-ups and run with me. He's got to go to the shooting range with me. 
you ain't never been through nothing with nobody and you got so you can open your mouth and got a negative thing to say when you really go and work hard you ain't got no time to say nothing bad about nobody else you going to go get it man right right you gotta go get it for yourself coon i mean hey now if you was doing some coonish things it'd be like but i don't believe so what are coonish things black people kissing up to the white man everyone is trying to succeed Django, remember Django? Yes. What's old buddy name? The black dude, uh, Samuel. I had someone call me that too. Well, I forgot his name. He was Steven. <laughs> Somebody, but yeah. Steven from Django, Snowball. Great example. I mean, you see, if you've seen his character, you'd be like, ugh, like, like, would you ever do that? What is he supposed to do? He was born and raised in slavery. He was given Man. a position. <laughs> to act like that with his own people? Bro, uh, how many people clock into Walmart and then fire other employees? True. <laughs> when you get you a position, I don't care what your race is, you're going to try to protect your economics. No money. He was living in the house, you know, had a good life, had a good position. Why would I jeopardize my good position for your tired ass? I couldn't. I mean, personally, I couldn't be like that. Like, I don't know. This is something It's like, that doesn't feel right. Like, I don't even like y'all like that. You know what I mean? Who don't you like? I don't like. Oh, you okay? <laughs> who, who I don't like? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Personally, I I don't like white people. Mm. I don't like any other race really except my own. Okay. I don't like a lot of people in my race. All right. Now look, when you, for you to say it like that, it sounds like it sounds like you don't like nobody. You can say that. Just because I don't like you, that don't mean I can't get along with you. We can do business. But I don't like you because of history. Thank you so much for breaking that down. I don't like most people either, but I don't dislike you because of the color of your skin. It, that don't bother me. Well, it's not. It's not the. It's not the, for me. It's not the color of skin because we all got some type of skin complexion. Who cares about that? No, it's about your actions. The content of your character will tell me that you are a piece of dookie. Yeah, <laughs> the content of 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 one's na nationality or one nation. You think nationality can di uh, dictate your behavior? Man, look. No. There are so many good people in America. And for some reason, like you get mad at me for saying that, there are so many good white people in America. Some white folks, is, there's some good white folks. <laughs> They're cool. Yeah, I agree with Hold that. On. Of the course. majority of white folks is good white folks. Well, there's a lot of them. So I, I would say. I we just get upset because we ain't got no relationships with white folks, man. We look historically. And we've had media propaganda destroy the relationship between poor whites and poor blacks historically. Right now, if you pay attention to any type of cable news, Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, they all promote some type of racial division. They tell stories from a racial slant. Mm -hmm. They are keeping us apart just based on words and terminology. But when you actually have to live and work with these folks, that shit does not exist. How many people would agree with you when you say it don't exist. And if it's a lot of people that agree with you, who is keeping these motherfuckers spilling this rhetoric? Our eyes. We have an attention economy. And because we watch it, we sit there and it sounds so salacious. Most people are tribal people. Since the beginning of time, we've clicked up and been in groups. If you go to high school, middle school, any type of school, right. you have a group of friends. And it's going to be based on the things that you like to do. Do you like to play with Play-Doh? Then your group of friends in elementary are going to play with Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. If you like to color pictures, your group of friends are going to color pictures. This is just how we team up as people. Based on geographics, most people live in a community with other people who look like them. Similar eating habits, similar uh, work experience. Like we have similar lives. And so we identify with that. It just so happens that Americans choose to be divided based on race the majority of the time. White people live in white neighborhoods. Mexicans live in Mexican neighborhoods. Blacks live in black neighborhoods. Sometimes you have Mexicans and blacks living in the same neighborhood, but that's based on economics. It's not based on choice. What you call suburbs? Man. I mean, I, at least down here, like in Houston, you go to the suburb, you find mixtures of everybody. Except in a, in, a, in a concentrated area. Right now, in this area right now, you drive down MLK, you see a bunch of black, black folks. people. Yeah, yeah. You look around right here, you see a bunch of black people. Now, you see some Mexicans that live in the neighborhood. You do. Right. You might see a, a, a splatter of white people who live here. But the majority is majority black rules. folks. You right, know? right, right, right. I'm just saying the majority of Houston is broken down demographically by uh, ethnicity. Chinatown, uh, you know, you got a lot of white suburbs. Mm -hmm. 
And then you have the, the, the black pockets of poverty. We split up based on race. And then after we divide based on race, then we divide based on economics. You have the good side of the black community and the bad side of the black community. The good side of the white community, the bad side of the white community. Like this is how human beings break themselves down. And I'm just saying, how do we ignore all these other variables and only focus on the color of my skin? That's a hard place to be at. That's a very stagnant place to be at because you're not thinking about anything else. I have to keep going back to it. Some of a gun called me a coon. And I'm asking, how can I fight for freedom, fight for this great nation, fight for you, stand up for, for people who are disadvantaged, and you have the audacity to call me a coon? Because he don't like this nation. I, I don't either. Oh, my goodness. You're breaking my heart, Troy. You're well, well my again, heart. again, again. How do we come over? And I understand you're you're more you're more of um, modern times. You say how yeah. I got here. I'm here. Yes, I understand. How how did your people get over to this piece of rock that we call America? Some Africans right? some Africans sold them. Well, okay, some Africans sold them. Some, some Africans sold them. We're not the same people. You asked so, so you, yes. asked, you asked me how my people got here, here. and I said some Africans African, sold them. Okay, I just wanted to get that out the way. Okay, okay gotcha. Um, to who? Traders, <laughs> colonizers, con- conquistadors. The, the the same people that's running this piece of rock now. Hey, right now we have a thing called staffing agencies. You ever been to a staffing agency? Yes. They buy and sell labor. They, a job will hire a staffing agency and say, we're going to give you $40 an hour for a job. They say, hey, Troy, we're going to give you $12 an hour for a job. Yes. They just pocketed the other twenty eight dollars. They are <laughs> they are buying and selling human bodies on the open market right now. Yes, I agree with you. There has always been a market for labor. Back then, when you went to one of these big ass facilities that, w- that that had a bunch of slaves, they were buying and selling labor. It sounds horrible. Oh my goodness, I'm a black man, and that should offend me so much that my ancestors were bought and sold as labor. Right now, if you have that type of ideology, you should be so angry with every American person who's being bought and sold for labor right now. Why did it have to be like that? Who who said it was right to do that? Because you, what if it, it hadn't happened? You need cheap labor to build a community. You need cheap labor to build a and society. Who did they, and who do they get? The, How, be, the best laborers on the planet. Oh, we just we just that people, <laughs> huh? We just we're just born workers. huh? We are the architects of nations, bro. Yeah, we are. But we normally have other people doing that shit for us. And guess what? Most of the time when you have managers, those people be the most skilled individuals. And so if I can get the managers to come not only facilitate the labor, but to also do the labor. Oh, my goodness. Boy, I got like I want the best of the best. <laughs> they went and got the best workers on the planet and enslaved them and kept them enslaved for 400 years. Yeah, I mean, that. yeah. And that's you don't like it. Man, go talk to God 400 years ago. Don't bring that shit to me. Yeah, we do need to go talk to God. Dear Lord, Look, why in the world did you allow that happen to my ancestors? It's, it's been in the book all this time. You done read it in the book. You done seen it in history. You done heard your ancestors talk to you in real life, and you still ain't had the courage to go fight somebody? You want to sit there and talk some, You want to talk about it, huh? You want, you want a therapy session, don't you? Come here and tell me about your black oppression. <laughs> come, put, come, put your, come put your head on my shoulder and tell me about how the white men just got you so 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 hell back. <laughs> These niggas can't hold me back. These niggas can't hold me back. I, no. I, bet, I bet you that they won't go back to where they came from, though. <clears throat> they always saying go back to where you come from. Go back to, go back to, but y'all brought us over here, right? Man, because like that's a piss-ass argument. Like, if you want to be here, don't whine about it. Fight for it. Hell. Irish people fought for it. Russian people fought for it. The only people who were considered Americans were Protestant white people. If you were Catholic, you wasn't a dang American. So it took time to integrate into the American society. And we don't want to do our, 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 we do not want to assimilate. We want to sit there and say, I I hate America. I ain't no American. That's (laughs) That's what we do. And then we get mad because someone says, all right, then leave. You don't like it. Bye. What nation is like America? What where are you gonna go where you wanna do what I think you wanna do? Just for the nowhere. American person. You don't even have the skills to go nowhere else. You don't have the language, you don't have the cultural skills. You can't go to France and assimilate. You can't go to Germany and assimilate. You can't go participate in no one else's economy. You have the audacity to say that you can't you can't win here. You speak the language. You've been here your whole life. If you don't have the life skills to make it in America, goddamn, you need to go look in the mirror. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Michael Jackson told you, boy, I'm asking you to change your ways, change your thinking, get away from that nigga mentality. 
well, who's teaching us? But it starts with the mind. But where's our teachers at? We need to do what we need to do. But it's obvious that hey, well, some shit was thrown in the game where it kind <clears throat> of messes us up where now we can't. Okay, so fine. Let's just say that. Dear black people, welcome to 2022. If you want to know anything, the second most powerful search engine in the world is YouTube. Like and subscribe this channel. It's a great tool for information. And if you need to know anything else, there's a little place that says search bar. Type in your question. See what it comes back. How do you defeat white supremacy? I have a video on that also. Hey, black people, welcome to 2022. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.